There's been a little bit of drama concerning the new Quinfall MMORPG over the last couple days. Two days ago, I did a dedicated video on this going over how they claim they are creating an MMO with the world's largest map. How they use stock images for their quote unquote official office, their history with Kra Online, how it was filled with gold dupes, bugs, GM abuse, how their social media accounts were suspended. Before I did my video, I was actually referred to this video from Nuion titled The Quinfall, how this game might not exist. In Nuion's video, he went on to address concerns that he had that a lot of the footage that we were seeing were actually Unity assets that they bought. Now, I have absolutely, wait, hold on. But before we go any further here, what is Asmin watching? Dude, dude come on, man. What, what are you? All right, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to judge him for that. I. That caught my eye too. I'll be honest with you, but I digress. Now, I have no issue with studios, with video games, using assets to populate their game. I understand this is very important for indie devs, but at the same time, there's a difference between being upfront and open about this, telling your players that you are using assets for the time being, they're placeholders that you will replace over time, once you acquire the funds to, once your team is large enough to, and then when you present a trailer like you develop the entire thing from the ground up. That is incredibly disingenuous, I feel, and I'm glad Nuyan went on to address this publicly. But what happened next, I didn't expect. Now, when being called out like this, you can respond in a number of different ways. One, you can release a video. In that video, you can show the progress that you've made. You can show that you have replaced some of the Unity Store assets with your own assets show that progress has effectively been made. This will dissuade a lot of the hate and the negativity towards you, a lot of the claims that your game is a scam. Two, you could respond verbally in a civil manner, but at the same time, that isn't really going to achieve much because actions speak louder than words. Realistically, you could say whatever you want, but very few people are going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Nevertheless, you could still attempt to act in a professional manner, let people know you're aware of their concerns and that they will be addressed at a later date and just let things blow over. Or you could do what they decided to do, lash out and not only name Nuyan in person, but also respond to him in a public announcement very passively aggressively. This goes to show the level of professionalism the studio possesses. The developer Frenzy tagged Nuion and said, Nuion has correctly handled all the points that we said we use ready-made assets before. He did a very successful job in this regard. One detail that he knows very well is that ready-made assets are a factor that accelerates our development very much. When tackling a project as extensive as an MMORPG, the time savings from 3D models cannot be underestimated. Of course, I should mention that none of the VFX effects shown in the last promo video are currently in use. So immediately they go on the defensive here, they're stating nothing that you saw in the last video are effectively in use anymore. And again, instead of showing this in an actual video, they've opted to just tell you that this is the case and you have to take their word for it. Also, many of the ready-made 3D models shown are out of use. Once again, the 3D models, the visual effects, none of them are in use anymore. We have completely replaced them with our own developments that we're not showing you at present. We're just telling you we're a thing. Much more important than this is how deep and smooth your in-game mechanics are, okay? The battle system, the professions, the dynamic factors, etc. In addition, on the network side, tens of thousands of players communicating seamlessly on the same server, both client and server optimization. The anti-cheat systems, DDoS security, now Kara Online, the MMO that they ran previously that I pointed out earlier in this video, was overrun with duplicated items. So evidently the anti-cheat system didn't really work. It wasn't very effective. DDoS security, AI systems and lighting that we had to develop completely due to the inability to make anything baking in a big world, in-game balance, and many more details that I can't think of. None of these are readily available. So the ready-made 3D model is the last point we consider here. 
every game developer knows how hard it is to make them work smoothly in such a big world just like an instrument. I'm not trying to show you a great work done here. Yeah, we're aware you're not trying to show us anything at all, but it would be funny to try and make it look small, wouldn't it, Nuion? He literally tags him, and then he tries to mock him by <laughs> passively aggressively by saying, well, it would be kind of funny to make this look easy, wouldn't it, Nuion? They could have just completely disregarded this entire thing they didn't have to respond to him personally publicly they could have just released a video and addressed the entire thing by showing us their own 3d models by showing us their own visual effects but instead they tag nuion personally they mock him and they show us absolutely nothing otherwise we would be seeing thousands of mmorpg games with tens of thousands of players running around. Nuion responded to this actually, and he said, I'm aware of that and the video does address it. The problem is if you guys use tons of assets to focus on other parts, which is fine by the way, why not show the other parts? And that is very true. It is, the, like, the, he, he has, he, he's making complete and utter sense here. Why not show the part, the, the, the aspects of the game that you created that don't use these assets? You can't. That's because up until this point, they didn't exist. They might still not exist. That original trailer screams, we made this, but instead it's, we bought this. And that's actually what I pointed out. They were alluding to the fact that they built everything from the ground up, when in reality, they didn't. There are also a couple of other things that directly contradict the things that you say compared to what you do, but that will need to wait for the next video. Oh damn, Nuion's, Nuion's cooking. He, he's got another video prepared. Oh, this is gonna be good. There are other people that are responding to the developer frenzy. You can't claim the game can handle tens of thousands of players running around until you test it live with tens of thousands of players running around. And that is 100% true. Feed Guru says, as of right now, everything that is good about the game has been words and everything bad about the game has been video. You say you have your own models, excellent. Show the community. See that this right here, I think is the issue that they're having. They're not showing the community anything. They're not showing anyone anything. They're all show, no tell. Or all tell, no show. I mean, <laughs> Frenzy did respond. Friends, I understand your concern and your suspicions. Our extra effort to refute these accusations will have a negative impact again in this environment. No, the extra effort would involve you creating a video showing your own 3D models and visual effects. That is it. That That is not going to have a negative impact. That will have nothing but a positive impact. Even if the 3D models and the visual effects look like absolute fucking trash, at least you own them. At least you created them. And at least you have proof that this is an actual game instead of you, you playing the victim here. Anything we say or do is just gonna be perceived negatively. All these bad impressions will be refuted by the experience of our players in the closed beta. Which just by the way, the closed beta is going to be under an NDA. So we're not allowed to actively disclose what we're experiencing, nor can we show what we're playing. So I'm not really sure how we're gonna refute this with our own experiences. Let me remind you that participation in all closed betas will be free of charge, and those after the first closed beta will not be covered by an NDA. So again, like right here, they openly admit the first closed beta, which is going to refute the bad impressions is under an NDA. We're not gonna be able to refute anything. I don't know what they're thinking here. Future closed betas, God knows when that's gonna happen. The one closed beta that they are going to run, we cannot discuss and we cannot showcase. So this is meaningless. So live streams and videos can be shared. Yeah, not from the closed beta. That is going live on January 30th at the end of this month. Ready to use 3D models increase our development speed and allowed us to focus more on in-game dynamics and content. Yeah, no one is saying that using assets is bad or that it is wrong. There will be no difference between us showing 3D models made by us and you seeing them in the closed beta, but we can't show this in the closed beta. It is up to you to show us. So you need to show us the 3d models and you're claiming that there is no point in you doing that that is fucking ri uh, ridiculous this is a move that companies that have already been accused of fraud plus previously received money from players should do it's funny again to ask if you can do this 
to a company like Kera Online. Again, their previous MMO that was an abomination that scammed players, it was filled with bugs, duplication issues, and GM abuse, which has an infrastructure that can take 12,000 players on a single server. We already did it. The accuracy of the network infrastructure is important here, not the visual scene on the player side. Well, the visual scene on the player side are also important because if we can't see anything, then how can we take your word that any of it exists? With the closed beta gameplay video that will be released before the closed beta, you, so they, they do plan on eventually releasing a gameplay video. I mean... <laughs> okay. But until then, you're going to passively, aggressively lash out at content creators. You're gonna tag them publicly, mock them, then you're gonna make false claims, play the victim. All of this could have been avoided had you just released a single trailer showing your game is real. It's, it's that simple. Really, <laughs> it is that fucking simple. Now this, this is absolutely ludicrous. This is laughable and is a prime example on display here of the kind of developers this studio is comprised of. <sighs> yeah, I know, really professional. Now, if you haven't already watched Nuyon's video, I strongly urge you to go on over and take a look. He covers this in detail. Apparently he has another one coming up. I'm very genuinely looking forward to that because this whole Quinfall saga is very fascinating. I think I was actually one of the first people to cover the Quinfall, what, a year ago? 11 months ago, I did a video on the Quinfall. So roughly the same time actually as Nuion did. Either way, I've been actively covering this game for an entire year. And I'm curious and excited to see what happens with it next. Now, if the Quinfall is not an MMO you're all interested in, absolutely no problem. I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now. There might be more up your alley.